So today we're looking at indicators and the different colors that a different indicator make within different solutions. And remember guys that we use indicators so that we can see whether a solution is acidic or whether it's basic. So today I'm going to work with two weak um, solutions. So I've got weak acid, which is a citric acid, and I've got a weak base, which is um, sodium hydrogen carbonate. I am going to take each of these indicators, put it in each of these um, solutions, and then we will observe the different color changes. So generally, when we do titrations, these are the most common indicators that we will be working with. So something that you guys know already, I hope by this time, is we can also use litmus paper. So you have red litmus and blue litmus. And we also have universal indicator paper. So remember with red litmus, if you put it in a basic solution, it's going to turn blue. And with blue litmus, if you put it into an acidic solution, it's going to go red. All right, so I'm going to start off with the most simple and common one, which is just your normal universal indicator. So you guys should know by now, I hope, that when you look at your pH um, scale, that when you have something that's very acidic, that your universal indicator is going to be a red color. So your pH value is going to be very low, which means that your hydronium ions in your solution is much more than your hydroxide ions. And if you have a very basic solution, then the color is going to, go, is going to be more violet or blue in color. So depending on the strength of your acid and base. So if you have a very weak acid, so I'm just going to show you guys with my weak acid. If you have a very weak acid, then you don't have complete ionization, which means that you don't have a lot of hydrogen ions or hydronium ions in your solution. So I'm just going to put my indicator in here and we expect to see a nice red color, not too red, probably going to be a little bit more pink. So I'm just going to add two drops of my indicator and you can see that's definitely showing a very low pH. So now I'm going to show you with the sodium hydrogen carbonate what the color will look like when we add sodium hydrogen carbonate. All right, so guys, remember that these chemicals is chemicals that you can find in your home. You don't always have to go buy fancy or expensive chemicals just to perform these things. You can use household chemicals to test whether you have something that's more acidic or something that's more basic. Another um, very interesting thing is you can actually make your own natural indicator from red cabbage. And I'll actually post that uh, recipe and method on, the Facebook page, on my Facebook page so that you guys can see. Um, the color changes. So this is now a nice blue color and that is what we expected, right? Because it shows a very high pH, not as high as with a very strong base, but high enough to indicate that you have a um, quite a, a weak base. All right, so you have enough um, hydroxide ions in here, but also not complete dissociation because it's not violet in color. Now I'm going to repeat my experiment. This time I'm going to use methyl orange. Now methyl orange is the indicator that we normally use when we work with something that's more acidic than alkaline. So I'm just going to put in my acid and my base so that you guys can go and see the different, this is bromothymol blue, so that you guys can see the different colors. So methyl orange in an acid will go a red orange color and in a, in a base it will go sort of a yellow color. So let's see there, you can see that's nice. It's like a very dark orange, okay? Almost looks similar than, to this color. And in your base, it's a nice yellow. So you can see a nice bright, bright yellow color. So definitely showing that this is your acid and this is your base. 
Now, when we do, when we perform titrations, we normally use methyl orange when we are titrating a very strong acid against the weak base. The next indicator that I will be using is going to be bromothymol blue. Now, bromothymol blue, we normally use if we um, titrate a strong acid with a strong base. So, sodium hydroxide against hydrochloric acid, for example. So, let's quickly observe the different color change. So, bromothymol blue should go yellow in an acid and it should go blue in a base. You can see that's a nice yellow color showing that this is definitely your acid. And it goes nice dark blue in your sodium hydrogen carbonate showing that you've got a base here. All right, I'm quickly going to go wash these up and then we'll continue with the phenolphthalein. Okay, and lastly with phenolphthalein, it should go colorless in an acid and it should go dark pink in a base. So this is my sodium hydrogen carbonate and in here I put my citric acid. So let's look at the color change. So you can see it goes doesn't change a color in the acid so it remains colorless and in the base it goes pink remember that it's not going to go dark pink in this case because it's a very weak as uh, a very weak base so um, remember that your indicators will go darker in color the stronger your acid or the stronger your base is so when you're doing a titration you will normally look for the color that's in between these two colors um, and that's where you will have your end point, which means that's where the neutralization of the acid and the base would have occurred and where your pH is then neutralized. So just to conclude, remember that if you have a very strong acid, then you have complete ionization, which means that you have a lot of hydrogen ions in your solution and therefore a low pH. When you have a strong base, you have a lot of dissociation and therefore a lot of hydroxide ions in your solution and therefore a high pH. And the opposite will then be true with a weak base and a weak acid where you will only have partial ionization and partial dissociation. So that was your indicators. I uh, hope it helped you to see the different colors. Okay, so that's it on the indicators. So please like and subscribe my video and hope to see you guys again. Bye.